This video illustrates Jigsaw, a visual analytics system for investigative analysis on collections of textual reports and the entities within them, such as people, places, dates, and organizations. Jigsaw includes four different visualizations of the report data, so a multiple monitor computer as shown here is very beneficial. Each view helps present connections between entities across the report collection. The list view presents different entity types in scrollable vertical lists. When an entity is selected, it turns yellow and other entities that are mentioned together in some report with it are highlighted. Darker shaded highlights indicate more connections. Each list is reorderable by alphabetic name or frequency of appearance and highlighted entities can be brought to the top. The scatter plot view shows an entity type on each axis. Interaction with the view reveals individual entity names. If a row column intersection of two entities, say a person and an organization, appear together in a report, a small diamond representing that report is drawn at the intersection. The view also provides range sliders that can be used to narrow down to a smaller region of entities. The graph view represents entities as colored circles with reports as slightly larger white circles. Jigsaw provides incremental graph exploration rather than static layout. Double clicking on an entity shows all the reports in which it appears, while double clicking on a report draws all the entities contained in it as a cloud of circles around the report. The text view shows reports in tabs with entities highlighted by their color from the graph view. Actions in one jigsaw view propagate to others whose state updates appropriately. Event listening also can be turned off in a view to preserve its visual state. Now we further illustrate Jigsaw's use by providing a hypothetical analysis scenario. Suppose that an analyst has received information regarding a suspicious person named Michael Jones. To learn more about him, the analyst displays the list view, examines people entities, and sorts the list by frequency. Jones appears at the second position. In order to explore people associated with Jones, the analyst places person entities in the second list as well and moves the people associated with Jones to the top. The color mappings imply that Martin Clark has the strongest connection to Jones since his name is colored in a dark shade of orange. The analyst next selects both Clark and Jones and then puts organization entities into a third list which reveals that both men have connections to the same organizations. The Revolution Now Scholarship Fund has the strongest connections of any organization so the analyst continues the exploration on it. The text view shows two reports mentioning the scholarship fund. Report FBI 35 mentions that Jones donated 48000 to the fund on the stipulation that the donation be equally split among six students, Clark being one of them. The analyst also notices that some of the students live close to each other, raising suspicions of potential collaborations. Proceeding, the analyst next brings up the reports about Clark and one of the other students, William Brown, because both live in Virginia. Report FBI 41 states that a month ago, Clark and Brown took a cruise together from Hampton to Kingston, Jamaica. The report also says that two other scholarship recipients took a cruise together from New York City to Montego Bay last month. To more closely examine the chronology of events, the analyst selects the four students, switches to the scatterplot view, and displays date entities versus person entities. After zooming into the relevant time range, the scatterplot shows the timeline of events for each of the students. Because she wants to save the current configuration of the scatterplot view, the analyst halts event listening in it. Now, to get a deeper understanding of the connections between the people and places, the analyst moves to the graph view and displays report FBI 41. After expanding the node for this report and filtering out the date entities, the analyst expands the nodes representing Kingston and Montego Bay. The view reveals that both are connected to three report nodes. The analyst selects those reports and reads them in the text view. All three reports mention the person Daniel Harris who works in Montego Bay. The analyst issues a query on Harris, thus showing the man's entity in the graph view. She expands his node and connections to seven more reports show up. One report cites that Harris traveled from Montego Bay to Kingston on December 1st and passed a package to an unknown person. Thus, the analyst concludes that further investigations be conducted focusing on Harris, cruise ships, and related activities.